Photographers and videographers, we never want to be in control, right? Hi everyone, welcome to pal to tech Today we're talking about timers that are built right into your Fujifilm cameras. Specifically, the self-timer and the interval timer. Let's start with the self-timer. Now, whenever anyone thinks of self-timers, they immediately think of the photographer, you know, kicking off the camera and then running to get into the shot, right? That makes sense. Now, the self-timer for the Fujifilm camera is located right in the camera icon right here. Obviously, you can turn it to either two seconds, 10 seconds or keep it off. And this is one of those menu settings that I actually always make sure that I assign a custom button to because I use it all the time. And on all of my Fujifilm cameras, I always assign it to this button right here. Makes it very easy to get into that setting. Now, for the most part, I actually don't use the self timer to put myself in the shot. I've got enough of that being on YouTube. I don't need to be in pictures, okay? But what I do use it for all the time is when I have the camera to an overhead rig, or if I have the camera on a tripod that's not exactly 100% steady. And if I'm taking shots at a shutter speed that's lower than 1 15th of a second, it is so handy to be able to quickly hit this custom button, flip it over to the two second timer, and then take my shot. Because once I press the shutter button, right, the camera has a little bit of shake still going on in it. And by the end of the two second period, that shake usually evens out and I don't have have any camera shake motion blur in my shots. I've had photo shoots where I've used the self timer for every single shot that I took. Now, one thing you should know about the self timer is that it does have an audio countdown, which depending upon your shooting situation, you may not want to use. Now you can disable the audio in the self timer countdown by going into the little wrench sound setup and then go into self timer beep volume and you can adjust the volume or simply shut it off just like that. Something to also keep in mind, if you are running an HDMI out of your camera and into a monitor or something else, your camera will not fire off the audio for the self timer. So that's another way to put it in silent mode. If you have a second monitor that you're using, just connect the camera to that second monitor. And even if you have it specified with loud volume in here for the self timer, it will not work if you're going out of HDMI. Now, Fujifilm recently added two new self timer options, at least for the X-T4. The first is the ability for the camera to remember your self timer setting, even when you shut it off and then turn it back on later on. You access that right in the camera menu here where it says save self timer settings. If you turn that on, then your camera will remember your self timer settings, even if you shut the camera off. And the second new option that they added for the self timer is the self timer lamp. You can now turn that on or off as well. Just like the other self timer settings, it's in the camera icon, self timer lamp on or off. See that right there? Now the second type of timer on your Fujifilm camera is called the interval timer. And what this does is cause the camera to take a certain number of shots that you specify with a specific time between each shot that you also specify. By far the most common use for this is time-lapse photography. And here's where you find it, right in the camera icon, interval, timer shooting. Now there is a usability problem with this interval timer menu, okay? And that is the fact that there is actually a hidden screen that you would never know about unless you press the right D-pad button a few times. It's crazy. There's no marking or indicator on here to tell you that, but check this out. So I go into my interval timer shooting menu just like this. So now I'm gonna take my finger and press the right D-pad button a few times. See how I'm scrolling to the right? Okay, now I'm here, but if I press it one more time, check this out. Boom, I'm on a whole other hidden screen, right? Again, maybe I'm a few sandwiches short of a picnic, but I think it would be helpful if you have an additional screen item that scrolls out like that to have some kind of arrow that says more or something. Does that make sense, right? Okay, so you, so you just go like that and then boom, there you are, start waiting time. Now I've got a whole video on how to use the Fujifilm camera's interval timer to shoot time-lapse. However, here's a few key points that you need to know. The 
first item in the menu is the most important. You set the interval between the shots. So for example, if I go here and choose three, this means now that the camera is going to shoot a photo every three seconds. Now, something very important to keep in mind with this. If you set this higher, like let's say you set it to 10 seconds between shots, okay? After a certain duration, the camera will actually shut itself off while it's going through this process. Then it will turn itself back on again to continue taking the shot, then turn itself off, then turn itself back on again, take the shot, turn itself off, and repeat. However, this can be very confusing if you have sensor cleaning enabled. Under user setting, sensor cleaning, let me allow this other guy from the past to better explain it to you. So if your duration between your time-lapse shots is between eight and 10 seconds, the camera will actually turn off and then turn back on to take the next time-lapse shot. But the problem is if your duration is say 12 seconds, and the camera turns off at 10 seconds, it's also doing a sensor clean. And I thought, I didn't see it was really going off. What was happening was the camera was, let me show you some video. I was watching it, it would go into sensor cleaning mode. While I was testing ice melting, it was going into sensor cleaning mode. And I thought, there must be something wrong. Why is this camera going into sensor cleaning mode? And I realized it's because the camera was turning off and then coming back on so quickly that I didn't really catch that it was even turning off. It was just going into sensor cleaning mode and then take another time lapse and then tent sensor cleaning mode and then take another time lapse and sensor cleaning load and then bleh, take that say that six times fast all right so moving along to the next choice number of times i always just leave this on the infinity icon i don't want the camera to stop after a set number of times because there may be cases where for whatever reason the way the sun is or the clouds or what i'm shooting i might want it to go a little bit longer I want to be in control of when I stop this interval timer. I don't want the camera doing it. I want to do it. I mean, photographers and videographers, we never want to be in control, right? But if you do want it to specifically shut off at a certain number of photos that it takes, you would specify it here. Of course, keep in mind that once your memory card fills up, it's going to shut off anyway. And lastly, in that, you know, hidden menu that I talked about, we have your start wait time. And what this does is specify how much time the camera should wait before starting to begin your interval shooting. And if you didn't want to use this feature of having it delay through this, you could also have your interval set here, have the number of times set here, and then simply before you go to take the shot, set it right here in the self timer. Kind of combine the self timer with the interval timer. You get kind of the best of both worlds. Now besides time-lapse photography, what would be a great use for interval shooting would be shots of people, groups of people, where say you want to be in the shot. So you set the camera up like this and you tell the camera to take one shot every second, right? Then you just go in and you do your thing for, you know, a couple of minutes, right? Knowing that the camera is going to keep taking one shot every second. The problem is you can't go less than a second, which leads me to my final point, which is while the timers on the Fujifilm cameras are great, I do have some suggestions for or you, Fuji, for future firmware updates. The first would be for the self-timer to allow a custom setting. In other words, I could specify how many seconds. Right now, it's locked at either two, 10 or off. It might be nice to have five or to be able to put 25 in there. That would be a nice feature to add via firmware. Now for the interval timer feature, it would be so helpful to be able to specify less than one second. In other words, tell the camera, I want you to shoot four shots every second during this interval. That way, when you're doing these group shots, when you run in and you've got the camera just it's, you know, one shot every second is good, but being able to have it, you know, four or five shots every second would be better. And because SD cards are getting cheaper and cheaper for larger and larger file sizes, I think that that would be something that would be very beneficial to use for the interval timer. Now for the start wait time, it would be very helpful to have 
have a shorter time on here than one minute. Right now it's one minute to set, right? Before the camera will fire it off if you wanted to schedule it. It would be helpful, especially if you're doing those group shots, it would be helpful to have it so that you could do it for 10 seconds or 15 or 20 and without having to resort that sort of a hack by going into your self timer to fire it off, it would be nice to be able to do it right in the interval timer right here. Currently one minute is the shortest time it will allow before it kicks off the process. And lastly, and I have to say this, speaking of, you know, group shots, what about a smile detection? <laughs> I mean, come, okay, don't laugh. I think that Fuji did have this feature in some of their other cameras. It would be kind of cool to be able to have some kind of smart, the key is smart AI on here to detect smiles and just fire off shots if people are smiling. I mean, obviously you're not gonna use that for professional use and for informal shots where you wanna be in them or group shots or whatever, or here's an idea, a second camera that could be just locked down to a tripod with no one monitoring it, aimed at the group kind of near where you are to get extra coverage based on smiles. <laughs> I don't know, that might be kind of cool. I am absolutely crazy busy this week with work projects. So I am not 100% sure that you're gonna see me this Friday, but we'll, we'll see how the week goes. In the meantime, I hope you found this video helpful or fun. And if you did, be sure to give it the like and subscribe. And I will see you in another video again real soon. Take care.